Hello everybody and welcome to Fairway Media's coverage of the Falling Barn Open 2024. We have some great action for you. A little bit of new young blood still cruising through 2024. And a little bit of the old boys. Uh, thanks to our tournament directors, Eric Dipinski. Dibzinski, excuse me, and Lucas Lada. You guys ran a great tournament. And, uh, yeah. We're going to watch some Kenny Clark, Cameron Messerschmidt, Colin Bryant, and Carter Aarons. Round one, feature card, MPO action. Like and subscribe, Fairway Media. Let's go. New 10 MPO feature card. First on the box, Cameron Messerschmidt. Hey, good luck, boys. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Good luck, boys. So we have some tail left to right wind. Uh, there's OB right of the path. This is right down the middle. And Carter is throwing an open bag now. So yeah, generally that long grass on the left is there's a line on OB on this course for the tournament. Pretty low hyzer for Carter. Pretty safe shot, not letting the wind take so a factor. And another young uh, and up and comer, Colin Bryant, well known in the area. He's been dominating the MPO lately. He does have a long run up, so Cameron has a cut hand left there. <laughs> Cleanly low, Pfizer. Great start for everyone so far. Yeah, Kenny Clark has been playing since 2009 and dominating the last decade. Always making cash. And he is forehand dominant. Throwing it over the OB left, going right, and it does actually cut, unfortunately. We will see where he went OB. So three of the four were clean. You can kind of see them right there. First up is Carter. And the green is an island green. The second thing he just skipped yeah, over, the trail. Uh, the road, a uh, path, or whatever you want to call it, there is uh, an additional line in the. Uh, if you miss that, you go on your approach shot. If you miss that, you go to a drop zone. And that is safe. Here we go for um, Colin, uh, Colin here. I'm not sure which disc this is, but it's some type of uh, potter, I believe. Maybe not, because it skips, but I think he's safe, if I do remember correctly. And Cameron, going with the slightly Short hyzer unfortunately lands right in the path. Ob does not make the island, so he'll go to the drop zone. Kenny Clark shot for three. <coughs> Sits right underneath. Shouldn't have a problem with getting a four, uh, which is par. Oh my goodness! Again, this is surrounded with a line. And 
Fortunately, it was low, but it did stay inside. So this will be his pawn. Unfortunately, has to start the tournament with the bogey. What was on John Brown TV? Oh yeah, they were referencing his amazing throw-in of, of his playoff he had. He had, a, he had two to it. It was a sick throw-in. Go check it out on John Brown. Just search Kenny Clark on YouTube. You'll find it. Onward to hole two, par three, 299 feet. This is a uh, top of the world keyhole. OB surrounding the green shot. And we got a forehand flex from Colin, a little low, but he is safe. A little short of the of the pin. We got Carter Aarons going with an overhand shot. Pretty high. It almost oh hands it. Oh my goodness. He almost aced it. Yeah, he did almost ace it. That was pretty fantastic. And here comes Cameron. Looks like he's going thumber. Cameron's going overhand. And if you hear my voice twice, yeah, unfortunately he did go to OB there. Cameron's uh, going overhand as well. I was speaking to my phone that was going live at the time wow great shot so that's kind of why you're hearing me twice all right so this is uh cameron's third shot because he landed out of bounds very good effort he'll just uh have two uh, unfortunately two bogeys to start the tournament Oh man, mm. maybe uh, just a couple inches too right for Colin. We'll have to settle for a three. Carter nails the bird after nearly acing it with that overhand shot. That was cool, very cool. So hole two had about a 35% birdie rate and averaged uh, just a little under par. So we are moving on to hole three, par four, 572 feet. Most of most of these uh, holes are surrounded by OB with the with the tall grass. There is a defined line, and there's a pretty wide left f fairway there that is safe. They will end up going to the right, straight down the the screen. There is the fairway, but it does end up around up the hill to the left. He'll show you. Where where is the fairway? It's way down there, Carter. Let me put throw my disc right where you should be. Holy moly. That's amazing to be up on the hill. Most people lay up to the, ba the base of that hill so they can throw a hyzer around, up and around the large tree there, which is a mando. And these are the famous falling barns that are visited multiple times uh, a day. So it, there are pedestrians still walking around. Uh, they do not close this off for the tournament. So we did have uh, multiple delays, but just to be safe where everybody's, you know, no one wants to get hit with a, a frisbee. So beware when you are playing, of course. There could be pedestrians anywhere. And I went up to kind of short of where Carter landed to get you a catch view of this hill here. 
up and over the barn, kind of. Excellent. He'll have an option for three, which is a bird. And Kenny is up next. They're basically right at the base of the hill, right in front of it. And Kenny goes a little right. He'll have that tree as an obstruction. That bush that's kind of unmaintained, it kind of sticks out on the right of the basket side. And Colin's going pretty high. He likes the spike idea. And he is out of the bush, and he'll have an option for three as well. So a short jaunt up to Carter's throw. He'll have an easy forehand for his approach. And that is not OB over there. It does end uh, to the right uh, earlier. Uh, so yeah, Kenny is left with a Anheuser putt. Let's see how it goes. Oh, just a little too high maybe. Didn't get enough turn to so have a, a par up attempt next. This is uh, Cameron's birdie attempt. Let's go. Good bird. Sure. Hey, that, I think adequate's a better descriptor, but if you want to use that P word. Hey, it, it counted, man. We put birdie on the screen because it went in. Doesn't matter how. Oh no, just a little short right for Colin. He'll have a, a par next. And here comes Carter's third for Bird. Oh no, he wants that back too. Slight miss. So, this hole can give you some good and some average scores if you can miss it just by a little bit. So that is how hole three played out. Um, as far as the MPO field, uh, averaging 3.87, so slightly under par. Hole four is a fairly straightforward, par three, 299, surrounded by OB on the tall grass and a slope after these trees near the basket. So a nice about 300 foot technical shot and a pretty freaking close to uh, Heiser for Carter Kenny goes forehand probably with one of his uh, well trusted frisbees oh does probably a little shorter than he wanted but that was near the uh, circle's edge here comes Colin Going with a little bit higher forehand. And got a little, little hill action, unfortunately. Be at the edge of the sticker bush there. Maybe 20 foot. And Kenny is probably 38, maybe? 35? Oh, no. Just right of the pole. Bounces out. He wants that back. Oh no. Maybe the hill got into the way with his shot. Well, he'll have to settle for this uh, par attempt here. Let's see if we can get those directional issues out of the way as he does. Good shot. Drive gives him a, an easy putt Ready. too. Way to capitalize. And same with Carter. Yeah, these trees can get in your way if you uh, get too far out. And 
Kenny is moving on to hole five. 304 feet, par three. This does have some old school ba uh, art basket installations to the left of the pin. We'll get some good shots of that after the drives. So you can kind of see that's a, a, a naturally shaped fairway here. OB surrounding and trees near the basket. All right. A little right a of the there. basket for Cameron, but he should have a window to putt. He's on the dance floor. Should be a similar location on the front edge of that opening. And let's see what it looks like from the left side of the tee pad. Yep, similar shot. Collins, the disc right in front of Kenny. Oh no, he knew immediately. Was not happy with himself. So here comes Colin. Hey, this is uh, everybody's birdie opportunity next. Ooh, good shot. Had enough downward force to fit in there. But it, it was right. Probably is trying to fix that with his throwing there. So here's a little close up of the basket. The old art basket. As Cameron has a good window here. Let's see if he can get the opportunity and score some more. Oh no! These slight misses are probably eating him up inside. It would, it would for me, for sure. Oh no. That hit a lot of chains. How did it not fall in? That's that's unfortunate. Kenny will unfortunately have to have a bogey. And great bird for Carter. Two birds. One par and one bogey. And the young kids are leading the card, moving us to hole six, one of the more signature holes. I believe they call it the Christmas tree hole because of all of the, the foliage. So it's kind of a downhill, but many obstacles still in your way. That is probably the best I have ever seen. Wow, great shot, Carter. As you see, there's many spotters down there. It's kind of their tradition to keep the pace of play on this hole every year. They have a, a great uh, little hang, if you will. Much appreciated to that squad down there. Oh no, oh, no is right. Cameron, unfortunately, hits the early tree right and will have uh, an unfortunate lie to, uh, for his next throw. Um, here comes Kenny, going with a, another backhand. Oh, it right leaks way. left. Yeah. Maybe halfway down the fairway, or maybe just short of halfway, but he'll be on the left. As you can see, they maintain some of the ceiling of, you know, the bottom of the tree is here for us. And it's just around this dead tree, dead looking tree. Smart punch out to the fairway, which is still tight. Looks like there's kind of a right upper, upper path that he's trying to take here. And that may have leaked left of the basket. But he should be putting for 
four. Kenny has a small forehand roller window. I'm standing in the middle of the fairway. He's going forward to this little slight opening. And he is so good at that. Out of work. He'll maybe Out of work. near a circle too. Still, still a big putt ahead of him though. Not a bad shot. It could have been way worse with that first drive result. He got out of there without a big score. So, whole, um, yeah, this is birdie attempt for Colin. Maybe, I don't know, 45, 50 feet maybe. Maybe 40. Oh, word, yeah. And then, yeah, he just unfortunately missed slightly left. They want that back. It's a big, big score to, uh, big two to get on the field. This this hole is difficult. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Excellent step. Have a good round. I am still depressed but happy with the. <laughs> Uh, he's funny. Wow, look at this. That's where his driver ended. Dang, dude, what a drive. Good drive, dude. With just five steps away from the basket, he makes his two. Colin, unfortunately, will have to settle for a three. And he does bogey, yeah. but it could be yeah. way worse. That's a pretty good, pretty good score. All right. Carter's drive was the best one of the day. Ming was over in there. Okay. And then somebody, Jason Einfeld, was out back that way, but it's only three birdies. Nice. Wow. So, yeah, that uh, that was pretty cool. Here's a cool tunnel shot, walking to seven. Two. Oh, I forgot how tiny it is over here. You got Yep, so I jumped down the fairway. This is a good forehand shot. Down this service road slash trail. Up into a, I believe it's an apple tree. Cluster of them. Some type of fruit. I could Can do one. up next. First one was Carter. I haven't been out here in about two years covering this tournament, so it's a pleasure getting some more of the uh, the new up-and-comers that are playing a lot more open. Oh, wow. That was perfect. He'll just have a short putt on the low side. Maybe a straddle. And that might be going similar. Excellent. Maybe even a little better. Less straddle out, probably. Here comes Kenny. And it's about 250 feet. Slightly uphill. Yeah, similar shot there. So Carter has a tough lie. He has two major trees to deal with. And then the one between the true. Yeah, you can see the shot. It's uphill. Almost hits it. A little higher, and that would have been perfect. But it, 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 it settled at the base, so. Let's see if everybody else can get their twos. Kenny first. This is kind of a death shot. You miss, you're rolling down that hill. Thank you. Most likely. Excellent two. Hey, I got one. Yes, you did. Great job. <laughs> 
All right, Cameron's opportunity. He's obviously a little closer. Excellent, two. A lot of people who hit this uh, hole in the field, about a 43% birdie rate for the field, 10 out of 23. And unfortunately, Carter needed a cleaner drive to capitalize on that. Let's move to hole 8, 340 feet. As you can see, there are many pedestrians down this whole trail as we snake through it. This hole is, or the basket is to the right, further down this gap. And that is fantastic. They're a putter. I'll be right and left of the basket, and there is a ravine past this tree line. So. That's where we will see a few basket placements here. Yeah. Ah, it wasn't a terrible skip in that grass. Yeah. You're fine. Though. Yeah, that was clean. It could have been like a little higher. Basically, a, a you know a curving right shot. That looks extreme, but it's still safe. That is a good shot. He probably wanted that longer as well, like uh, Collins. We're going with the backhand for Carter. Oh, my. oh no, he wants that back. He so aimed too far left. far left. But it landed straight in the middle with a simple up shot. And he nails this perfectly. As you can see, this course really takes uh, advantage of the natural Finder. shaping of the... Uh, Right there. Everything? Girl. Wow, there's a little log there to kind of throw into it as a backstop if you're not running it. This looks like a run from Kenny. This is how he puts big Anheuser. A little too much Anheuser. Oh no. Maybe a lower putt would have worked better. That tree it is protecting it pretty pretty well. So these are the par collections. This is kind of this kind of like a U like a U shape in there. All right, this is one of the most aced holes on this. Let's see if these boys can do it. Bring it up. OB long, right and left. Oh, you kind of play it like an island. A little technical ace shot. Heiser. Ooh, it's safe. Safe. I think the front is an island. Okay, I'm. I never see anybody short, so I don't think about it. Oh, not too bad. Oh, it's the bottom of the cage. Oh my God, it rolled OB. How annoying. That ah, uh, it's hard to believe that that just happened. This whole giveth and it taketh. And that was his third shot. Uh, unfortunately, he'll have a bogey opportunity next. And Cameron still has a two opportunity here. Wow, he sneaks it on the left side. That is. Nice. Take advantage. Keep scoring. Getting a slight uh, straddle there. Oh, 
composure. That's what you need. <laughs> Hold it together. Don't let your old shots take effect of your new shots. That is one of the hardest things to do in disc golf. Let's go to hole 10, similar to two holes ago. It's, just, it's a fairway to the right. It looks kind of straight. 326 feet. There is small trees in your way. Right off, not too far off the tee pad here. Okay, and you can see the basket right in front of that. Oh, you over there? Straight, uh, straight ahead there. And the OB is to the right, but not where that disc landed. And Cameron is going for the forehand flex, it looks like. Oh, man, that's nice. Kenny likes a roller on this. It's a big hop on the first landing. That should be to the left. We will all find out where it lands. We will find out uh, here in a moment. Circle's edge, left side. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Carter's looking for the Anheuser backhand line. Nails it. Yeah, leaks a little right. He'll have a shot for two. And this does have a dangerous back uh, behind the basket, so you must be careful on your putts here. Exactly. But I we're down the center with his line though. I felt good about it. It stayed up for sure. Wild. I've only seen that a few times, but that does happen. He'll have to settle for a par. Unfortunately, that does not count for two. Kenny has a, a window on the left side through the trees. Oh, just misses barely. A uh, small. Uh, excuse me. Short. Hits front cage. Had a good uh, speed on it though. Oh no, that is still bouncing. That landed it right in the middle of the, the ravine thing there. It's pretty dry right now. Looks like he's going a little forehand Anheuser. Oh my goodness. Thankfully it did not roll back down. But he almost made that as well. to keep rolling he's rolling showing you how to do it and a fortunate bogey for for Carter there as we move on to hole 11 oh yep yeah, that's right Cameron's <laughs> weird uh, uh, the awkward lay it under the basket and throw it in. But that's how you complete the hole in disc golf. Let's go to 11, 340 feet. A large forehand um, hyzer for uh, most people here. And there's trees to the right of the basket, and it's kind of tucked in here at the end. That is definitely fair. Can As you can see, the sticker bushes are the OB line naturally shaped there. It's pretty obvious to see. Here comes Cameron lining up the correct shot here. Got it nice and high but unfortunately it's too inside but does back back bounce back to the fairway. So 
Will Kenny be one of the birdies? He's trying to put his drive there. And that's right on the edge. Should be safe. He'll have a backside two opportunity. And that was a quick draw. Quick. Almost in. Ah, Carter was very quick on his drive. I didn't get to zoom in to see who make that clearly, but he'll have a, a great two shot. He's almost probably 10 feet, maybe. Here comes Cameron's. Oh, my goodness. Almost hits another jumper. Stepper. Whatever. <laughs> he's, he's dangerous from circle two or now. Oh no, one small branch in the way takes that two away from Colin. Kyle has a, or sorry Kyle, jeez. Kenny <laughs> gets his two. He had a nice window. Take advantage there. It goes to one down. This is where that landed. Trying to shake that bad juju from that old hole. That was a great two. Keep it going, boys. And that concludes at 11. So mostly it'll be left on for hole 12. This is another art installation, uh, old art basket down there by the our current pin. They kept it pretty quiet because they don't like me. Um, I was like, dang. Camera measurement's a big deal, bro. Even try. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I wouldn't say big. <laughs> Teaching the young kids a little history on the the accomplishments. Oh, darn. darn it from Kenny. He leaks a little right and has to deal with the OB in there. Well, no, it's not OB. Gosh. If he can see it, I'm sure he'll try to go from there. I believe the line ends. It's only left side OB on this hole. There's oh, plenty of mess on the right. Basket? Go in. Oh my gosh. Good shot. Maybe a little short of an ace, but that was fantastic. He'll have a almost cir maybe circle edge putt. Colin goes forehand. Is he going around that big That's tree? Big oh, and just the lands in front of it, but bounces forward to it. Almost died too. So. He'll have an unobstructed putt there. It's got a tail. It's, I don't think Vols have tails. Out. If you turn it upside down, it should have an M or a V under it, and that tells you the model. Hey now, hey now. These days, I actually believe that. I love that dad joke. That was fantastic. <laughs> so, Kenny is about an arm's length in here, so he's going to poke his foot in there. Try for two. As we movie magic into the action, that did take a second. Ouchies are a thing. Oh no. It sounded cool, but it didn't look cool. He wanted that a little more left. Look at these drive locations. I would love to be able to throw this far. I think the whole play is a little closer to 400. Um, I could be wrong there. I don't have a measuring device, so I'm going to go ahead and trust these distances. Wow. Going long, making that putt. We're getting some birds. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. Good twos, guys. Excellent showing of the hole, how to play it. 
and he showed you how to short shorten your shot, but he knows he'll get it next time. Hole 13 is a nice tricky shot. You've got a hole in the middle of your or a hill, in, excuse me, in the middle of your fairway, and you're trying not to go into that old trail we were watching that was heavy traffic, and the basket is nestled in there, not too far from where he's at, and that is Mark uh, uh, so, signal safe. Should be in front to the right of the basket. Now Colin's turn. Clean shot down the fairway, over that hill, and he'll have a similar shot, maybe just further than the basket, but not OB. Little higher uh, flex line. It's going to get heavy real fast. Very similar as well. Really? That's not... That's what I wanted, so if it's not near the basket, then I just don't know where it is. Like 30 feet from the left. <laughs> is it? Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's more. Oh. That's what I was looking for. So it's in there. I don't know. Kind of, I bet you're just fine. I think he described it, but it's a good shot. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a little more left. <laughs> I mean, it was the right one. <laughs> Yeah, you want that a little bit further down, but not too far, obviously. Crushed it. <laughs> There's a log that saves him oh, from going out of bounds. Inside. Good log. Good. The camera does this um, on uh, questionable shots on the circle the edge. He'll walk it off every almost no, every up. time. He's got one tree to deal with, and the ceiling gets a little short, so he's got to go right at this. And yeah, he does. And he does. Up next is Carter. It is birdie. Good play, buddy. Excellent score. <laughs> and a little uh, trickery going on here. As you can tell, it's fall. This happened at the end of September 2024, if you're watching this later. He wants that birdie back. <clears throat> and these guys are, are really showing you how to get down here and take advantage of these score let's go to 14 a large fairway that's down the uh, down this narrow gap 462 feet OB right side but our left long grass that is short or no, no excuse me that's all natural. No, there might be a line. I'm sorry. I don't think these guys uh, are thinking about that. They, they're trying to make this fairway. Sneaks through that large tree. Wow. Colin really, really flipped that up and threw it 400 plus feet. That was very nice. Cameron's turn, going forehand. Trusting it's going to turn. Oh, no, it kind of shorted it. But that that should be safe. He just has to flirt with all those trees over there. Oh my goodness, that tree just spit it out. That could have gone way down the hill uh, towards all of those Christmas tree holes. This runs uh, parallel to that, the opposite direction. And that's Cameron, Go throwing in. it up. Oh. It and it should just be under right underneath that last tree. Okay. <laughs> Small straddle for this starter. <laughs> 
and this is a fun little <laughs> moment. Candy was a distraction. Bit. That's exactly where Cameron is. Luckily, does not roll down the hill again. This is a really tough basket placement. Oh, yeah. Oh, unfortunate. It's still kind of near the top. Colin landed. He's got that death putt to deal with. See if he can nail this. Yeah, do it. Oh, just too short. Unfortunately, does not go in. But it does stay next to the basket. That is also another tough angle to hit. Because that could easily just roll down that hill. Clean par for Kenny. Had to get his yoga on. And to save his bogey is Carter. He'll go down to four. Three behind Colin. Textbook par for Cameron. I try not to have close. too much damage on that after the short drive. All right, that completes 14. Let's see how far 15 is. This is a very fun shot. You're throwing over this uh, valley, if you will, about 300, maybe 340, into a circle green. The basket is right in the center of it. I'm not sure if it's an island. But it plays just like one because you got to throw over this tree line. You got that all day. Yeah, and Colin is well within his distance, uh, putting distance there. The large forehand line for Cameron kind of lands near Colin. Great shot. I think Clark going with a similar line, maybe a little more higher and lefter. Ooh. What was that, 315? Or... <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here comes Carter going with the backhand line. I believe he throws an 8 2 there. Fitting wings wondering. He is definitely throwing a mixed bag. A bunch of Innova, some Dismania. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it if you ask him. Uh, let's go for Cameron's yeah. shot. Yeah, He's man. flirting with that left side all day. <laughs> Count it. Up next is Colin trying to follow that mojo. Oh. His left side hit didn't work for him. Can he figured out to throw into the center? That's his two. Good job. Colin has to get this three out of the way. Yep. One that got away from him. But he's doing just fine with seven down. With just a few more to go, that's a pretty good score. It's about 50% birdie rate so far. Hole 16. A large four par four. 555. 550 feet. They throw over my head here. Basket is past this little patch way down here. OB surrounding all of the fairway. That's short grass. So yeah, Kenny gets his eye on his target. 
Nice and tall forehand. Literally shaping the fairway. Probably splitting the, the field directly in half, or the pin directly in half here. Let's see the big bomber. Whatever he released it was on Heiser. It flips over. Wow. I want to be like Carter someday. Combo with a low forehand laser. It's a fair skip. But these are all generally similar results. Just a distance control here on our second shots. They're showing us how to line up for an eagle. Let's go. Use the airspace appropriately, Colin. Get it high. Swing right. Six shot. Thank you. Yeah, he'll be within range. I guess eagle would be two. I'm sorry. He'll be shooting three next for his par. Or, sorry, birdie. Oh. All right. Perfect. Absolutely oh, perfect. Wow, well, yeah, my deficit is way off. Let's go, dude. Oh, that's that's solid. Solid. Ching, ching. Oh. A little short left. He's within circle one. And let's go with Kenny's forehand. Second shot. You guys are really showing us how to do it well. <laughs> oh wow, he went a little longer than he wanted. <clears throat> oh no, just a little too low. So the next hole is a backup hole. There's a few card backups. As everybody watches the uh, the two, sorry, the uh, uh, birdies here. But I told myself I Kenny, unfortunately, will be the only par for this car. Look at that background. The, the clouds are giving us a cool little ridge. Such a great area to get a nature walk in. There's some cool old barns in this background here. So yeah, let's go to 17. One of the hardest holes. OB left. So it's a, it's like, like a ravine. Like is that an original course? And a large tree yeah, line on the right. right. And this is another uh, game on. Unpause. I had a four. So passenger. Four. Sorry, uh, pedestrian yeah. beware yeah. hole as well. Unpause. It's been a long pause. So We're just starting the whole round. It's not going to be around. Just getting the vibes up. You know. The final two. I wonder if T Lofton got it. So the basket is located at this, the end of this tree line here. Almost hit my dad. Get out of the fucking way, dad. <laughs> Cameron's dad is in the way. <laughs> He's just trying to help, man. <laughs> He's just having fun with him. They have a good relationship. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carter. Aaron's. Almost hits his dad. Holy crap! I hit dad. That's what he got. That's what he got me in bounds. I was going straight down the hill. You better get out there, dude. Your turn. Throw it at him right now. <laughs> These guys are such a fun card. All right, let's see if we can get the perfect forehand line, Colin. Really low and left. He does sneak forward. Maybe just more, a little bit left of where Car uh, Carter landed there. Not too bad. Here comes Kenny trying to correct what Colin did. Something to flip up right down the middle. Trying to trade forward and be near the basket. Oh wow! But then Dad. Got what a nice guy.
Oh no, get down quickly. A very dangerous approach oh. angle. Let's go! Emotionally uh, <laughs> good for the reaction there. That was fun. Uh, so yeah, here's Colin. He does have an angle. It's very hard to show you here. So I wanted to get the basket and the player. But that'll be safe but short. It gets really aggressive near the basket. So it's... <laughs> It's a nerve wracker almost every time. So perfect layup. Yep. Nicely done. I think it goes a little long, did not go down the hill. So that's the good layup part. This is Kenny's two opportunity. Oh. <laughs> Just a little left. He's not too far away. That's a par save opportunity for Colin. He gets it in there. Wow. So that left side's treating a little nicer now. And Carter has a little bit of angle to deal with, unfortunately. He's trying to get a more of a straight line with slide, uh, lining up straight with it. Oh, he probably should have straddled. Dang it. And Kenny gets out of there without a bogey. He does class, throw a classic uh, banger GT mold. That concludes hole 17. Look how dangerous that can be if you don't. Thank you guys. Good job, guys. Go down there. Hole 18 used to be at the top of the hill to the left of this. Thanks okay, thank you. for watching, Good time, everybody. Buddy. Let's watch go. the last hole. Finish strong, boys. 350 feet, pretty wide open. Long grass is OB. Should be a line everywhere. I don't think these guys have that problem though. So let's uh, let's see. Do we have on this pad? I don't know that answer, but I don't think it's really a problem for him. So this kind of finishes near where hole one is. It really does a full circle here. It's a great park. That's a nice. Eyes are shut. Yeah. Puts him in circle two that, to the right. Yeah, they kind of shaped this to be similar to a key key shape. And those are some uh, pedestrians having a good time. There's a big trail behind the tree line there. Go in the basket. Colin doesn't care. He throws it right to the circle one. There you go. The originals. Kenny lines up his forehand line. Big old bomb. She's good, she's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a little more left than he wanted, but he's out there. He knows how to putt from big distances. And here comes Carter Aarons. Probably throwing a putter. And that's a putter. That yeah. was a putter, yeah, that's what I thought. It's a good throw. Good throw, Carter. Six shot, Carter. Good shot, dude. Good shot, dude. Wow. We all want to be like Carter Aarons one day. That was an impressive shot. All right, so let's let's watch Cameron do this. He he has been known to get this little uh, step shot right down the gully. So let's see if he can do it again. Yeah. 
my goodness. With the crowd. Cameron Measuresmith, everyone. Great putt. Six down. Congratulations on your 10-23 rated round. That was awesome. Alright, here comes Kenny Clark getting his birdie on. What a comedian. He'll finish at three. With a 995 rated round. Here comes Colin. Finishes nine down. Which is a 1051 rated round. And Carter nice wants some of those shots back. But he did very well. Thank you. With a 1023 rated round. <laughs> Thanks for watching round one. Here are the field scores of MPO. On the screen if you want to see more detail there. Let's watch a few of those highlights. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. It really does help the algorithm show this to more people. We want to show everybody how awesome these guys are and uh, this, these courses are up here in the Pacific Northwest. So we, we really appreciate your support doing those likes and subscribes and shares and whatnot. We also have a membership program that is only one dollar a month for less than twelve, less than a price of a disc a year. You can get early access to Fairway Media, so that's our best way to support the channel right now. Thanks for all of your support. Two thousand subscribers is coming up. Should be uh, getting our items ready for a giveaway. Stay tuned for that. So yeah. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you on the finale of the Falling Barn Open.